Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to LEGO Worlds. This video is going to be a hands-on tutorial guide to show you how to bring uh, models from LEGO Digital Designer into LEGO Worlds so that you can have them in your game and you can play around with them. Um, so we're going to take it right from the very top. We're going to actually load up LEGO Digital Designer, which is a free program. I'll show you how to get that. And then we're going to make up a model, and then we're going to bring it right in. So if you don't know what this game is, there is a link down below. You can get LEGO Worlds on, uh, on Steam, $14.99. And LEGO, again, LEGO Digital Designer is totally free. Hello! Gosh, that's rude. I'll turn and say hi. Hi, farmer. How are you? I'm making a tutorial. You're kind of messing it up. Don't you dare steal my eagle. Hey! Get off my... Thank you. Get out of here. Beat it. Go. Skedaddle. No come back. I'm very busy here. Um, so, where were we? Yeah, so you can bring your models in. Um, and here's your custom models right here. I've made actually a few so far. I've made the red dog house. I brought in the diamond pick, which was actually made by someone else. But the point is, you can create these outside of the game and import them in. And you can also export models out from the game into Lego Digital Designer, which we're not going to do in this episode. We'll probably do that in the next one, but um, here is a, uh, a doghouse, actually, that I that I made in Lego Digital Designer. And let's plop it down right over here, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And then we're going to head out to uh, uh, my desktop, and I'll show you how to get the uh, Lego Digital Designer and get that rolling. And this is as easy as it is right here, guys. Very simple. Once your model's in the uh, models under here, uh, brick builds, then all you have to do is spray it on. Quite simple. Even a caveman could do it. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's head out, of, head out of the game. Let's get to my desktop and we'll, uh, we'll take it from the top. So hang on, I'll be right back. Alright guys, here we are outside of the game. Let's take it from the top. First things first, we need to grab the LEGO Digital Designer. This is a free program provided by LEGO. So all you have to do is head over to ldd.lego.com with your favorite browser and download it. I'll put that link down below for you, by the way. So just go ahead and click on that, bring you to this web page, and you'll see a download link right here. At the time of this recording, we're looking at LDD 4.3. This is available for Mac and Windows. So go ahead and download the proper version for your computer operating system and I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to do it again it's about 180 megabytes shouldn't uh, shouldn't take very long if you have high speed interwebs and um, just remember where that goes okay so probably going to go to your downloads folder we're going to have to come back to that shortly all right now that you have downloaded that you have another download here this one is optional but I do recommend it and I will put this link down below in the description, of course. You're going to get to this web page right here, which is at the uh, Steam LEGO Worlds community site. And you're going to scroll down until you see Das Mats uh, posted this at J on June 1st. Hey, that was my birthday. And he created a LDD user palette for easier building inside LDD. So basically what this is is a filter that shows you only the bricks available in the game itself because if you build a model with bricks that are not in the game they won't show up and it'll, your your models will look kind of weird right so go ahead and download that just dropbox link and that's lego world lxf which is an lxf model file okay and now with those two files downloaded let's head over to our downloads folder you should see those two files right here go ahead and install lego digital designer first That'll take a few minutes and might actually download some more updates. So when that is complete, come on back. And then when that's done, you are going to go find your LEGO Digital Designer folder. Now I've got a shortcut here already made up, but you should find it under App Data, Roaming, LEGO Company, LEGO Digital Designer. You can search for that in Windows, of course. By the way, this is Windows. I don't have a Mac to uh, demonstrate this on. but um, So once you find that LEGO Digital Designer, folder you're going to see this stuff in here palettes preferences yada 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 we're going to right click in here and create a new um we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it user palettes now you only have to do this if you decide to use das Mats's, um customized palette so go ahead and do that we're going to go back to the downloads i'm going to grab this file right here right click and copy and we'll head back to where we was in the user palettes and drop it in paste it and there you go that's our um 
that's the template file that we're going to be using. So with that done, let's go ahead and uh, make a model. So we're going to run Lego Digital Designer. So here we are, and you can see my red dog house. There it is. Very cool stuff. Oops, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> uh, I want to create a whole new model blank, and that's down here, the free build. So we're going to do that. And I don't really know how to use this very well. This is not a Lego Digital Designer tutorial per se, but uh, you can play around with this. It's quite, it's quite robust and fun. Um, first thing you're going to see is all the bricks. Everything available in Lego right here is on this template over here. So what we need to do, like I said earlier, is filter this using the um, using our um, Lego using Das Matz's user palette, right? So let's go up to View. And then we're going to new themes and we're going to just click on make sure we're clicked on uh, ldd over here all right and that should show you another icon down here it says filter bricks by boxes click on that and you should see hero factory and lego worlds this is the one that we just installed right cool click on it and it uh, filters out all the stuff that we cannot use so these are the only bricks that are available in LEGO Worlds right now. Now keep in mind, LEGO Worlds is an early access game, so more bricks will be added. So hopefully Das Mots will update this user palette. But this is really great. Um, so unfortunately, it's all gray. There's no colors in here, so you can't build with colors. But we can, uh, we can colorize them later, and I can show you how to do that very briefly. Um, again, I'm not an expert at this program, but... I can show you the very basics and what I'm interested in is a torch. I want to build a Minecraft torch so I can use my my famous um, my famous uh, navigation trick by leaving torches behind so I can find my way around. It's very difficult. Well, it's actually very easy to get lost in Lego worlds flying around and finding new places and getting your way back home is kind of uh, it's kind of a chore. So I want to leave big torches behind. So I'm going to make a Lego torch. And I'm just going to use the 2x2 two two bricks, the old famous 2x2s. Two and I'm going to make a, a simple base. Are you floating? What's up, buddy? There we go. I'm not really very good at this, guys, but uh, bear with me. I do know how to use a clone tool, though, which is kind of nice. So you basically just click on that one, the one you want, that you want to build with. And it will stick to your cursor. And once we get this base built, there we go. Okay. So now I'm going to grab that whole base. And there's a way to copy this as well. You can just do like a multi-selection tool and then clone it and then plop that right on top. So basically what I'm going to do is continue doing that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep going up, clone it until I get up 14, I believe it was. So that's, oops, did I get everybody there? No. Hey, play fair now. Yep. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I already have one of these made up. So let me just go grab it and I'll be right back. And voila, that is my Minecraft torch, the gray Minecraft torch. So now we want to colorize it and we can do that either in Lego worlds or right here in the Lego digital designer. Um, in order to do it here, what you want to do is you need to uh, bring up the color mode because if you don't do this, it doesn't work. You have to go to LDD extended mode. So go to view new themes, extended mode, and then everything gets some color here. But uh, don't be make sure you're not bringing in new bricks because this will show you all the bricks again. So just let's just play with the color. And we're going to do that by clicking on paint tool. And we're going to go over here to our colorizer and we're going to start at the top. And we're going to use like different colors here, like yellow as a nice bright. Um, this is the top of the torch, right? Where the flame is. And I'm going to go down about like one, two, three. And we'll go any lower than that. And the rest is going to be brown. So I'm going to do this really quick off camera, but it's going to be something like this. And I'm going to try to get some shading in there if I can. I'm not really very good at this sort of thing, but I'll try to make it look like a Minecraft torch and I will be right back. It's a lovely color. Oh, is that coffee? Oh, it makes me thirsty. <laughs> All right, hang on. I'll be right back. All right, guys, that's about the best I can do. Uh, it's good enough for government work, right? So the point is we're going to make this model here and we're going to export it and then we're going to bring it into Lego World. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you save it and just give it a name. I've already given this a name of Minecraft Torch. And I also saved my other one, the gray one, 
just in case I want to change the color around later. So go ahead and give that a, uh, a name. And then once that's saved, that goes, by the way, that'll end up in a folder over here under your documents, Lego uh, creations models right there. So now what we're going to do is export it and we're going to go to file and export the model in a different format, not LXF this time, but we're going to go with LXFML. And that's the only file that can be read. Well, actually, two files can be read by uh, Lego World. You need either LXFML or LXFML4. I don't think it matters which one, but I'm going to go ahead and just grab this one. And you can export it right into the same folder and it will move it to the Lego Worlds folder. Um, or, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just save it here. There we go. Now let's go to that folder. And we'll do this one step at a time. So again, this is under uh, Lego Creations Models. And there it is. All right, so now what we want to do is take a screenshot of our torch so it'll show up in the, uh, in the Brick Builds menu in the game. So in order to do that, we go to Toolbox and take a screenshot, which is also Control-K. And you're going to get the screenshot based on what you're looking at right here. So if you want to get in close, um, I guess that's about as close as I'm going to get, right? That's good enough. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Take a screenshot. Minecraft Torch PNG, so it's a portable graphics file, and it's going to go in here with the uh, with the models, right there. Boom! Open that up, and there's your torch. Very cool. So now we can just grab these two files: the Minecraft Torch PNG and the Minecraft Torch LXFML, and you can do that by uh, holding down Shift and clicking on them both. And we're going to right-click and copy, and we're going to go over to the Lego Worlds folder, which is under App Data. Well, App Data roaming warner brothers interactive entertainment and lego worlds so anyway let's go to lego worlds folder and you're going to see this folder right here called mons a subfolder under that folder and you're going to go to models and you're going to see all the other models that i've already made um or custom made or or captured within the game and i'll show you guys how to do that in the next episode like i said and for example my red dog house is here and we're going to right click in here and paste so now i have minecraft torch Minecraft Torch, the two of them, and we are done with LEGO Digital Designer. We can go ahead and shut that down, and we're going to run the game. And then we'll see if that, uh, if that actually works. So cross your fingers. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are back in LEGO Worlds, and I've decided to go with my caveman because it is so easy. Even a caveman can do it, and I'm going to prove it. So we're going to go to our models menu and voila look guys 65 brick builds there were 64 before right so we know that we did something right so let's click on that and see if we have a torch there it is it's a tiny little thing but if you take a screenshot in lego digital designer of a close-up that'll be much larger like i did with the dog house here so yeah I'm, i could redo that all you have to do is replace that png file so no big deal and then we click on it and there's our torch there's our blueprint, and all we have to do is plop her down, and this becomes one of our um, breadcrumbs. This is how I find my way home, because that's the island I came from, and I leave a, a bunch of torches behind, just like in Minecraft. So go ahead, caveman. Make me a Minecraft torch. Oh, it glows. I didn't know those bricks glowed. How cool is that? I would have put more. I can still change it. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. All right, well, that was that was actually that brick was actually called glowing brick the color and it does glow That's awesome. So that way you can see it from um, from afar when it's dark even Nice. Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, I meant to do that anyway, so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed that is how you get your Lego digital designer models uh, made up in LDD and then import it into the game and in the next episode what we'll do is we will uh, we'll do the opposite. We'll grab models here in the game and then bring them into LDD, like that barn over there, for example. So with that, we're going to call it quits, and let's get out my banana. And uh, bananas for everyone. This is your, your, oh boy, your parting gift. You over there in the back. There you go. Have some fruit. Okay, we'll see you next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.